Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerFlyShop.com. Today I'm going to bring you another nymph pattern. Uh, today's nymph pattern is the fox squirrel nymph. This is one I fish here in my area. It's just a generic searching nymph, kind of like a hare's ear. Um, we're going to start out on a size 14. I would tie this anything, you know, 18 to 12s. Um, tie it on a size 14 today. Use black thread. Uh, Daiichi 1560 hook. We're going to start out with some fox squirrel tail. Okay, um, where we're using is on the top of the tail, not the bottom, not the orange side. We're going to use the mottled top side with the grays and the oranges and stuff in it. Just going to cut a clump of it off. Not a real big clump, you can see. Just, you know, enough to make a nice tail on there. And we're going to tie this in. I'm just going to leave a little bit of black on here. You'll see it here in a second. It's a little bit long. I'm going to shorten it up just a hair. There we go. And we're going to tie it back to the bend. Okay, we're going to trim this off. Next thing I'm going to put on it is rib, ribbing. Um, just going to use some gold ultra wire, size brassy. Just going to cut a piece of that on and tie it off the spool and tie it down. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to use is fox squirrel dubbing. Um, we don't carry this at the shop. you got to look around for it. I think uh, Davy Whitlock is the one that is the distributor that sells it. Um, you probably get it at some of your local fly shops. It's a little hard to find sometimes. Just going to dub some of this on onto the string here. Um, actually, I'm gonna before I put that on, I'm going to use a little bit of wax. Because I don't want, when I dub this on here, I don't want it to be on real thick. I just want to give it the color of the fox squirrel there. And I don't want it to be real shaggy. So, um, with the, fo the fox squirrel dubbing has lots of guard hair in it. And we're going to use that to our advantage here in a second. But right now I want it pretty tight on there. Okay, we're just going to dub this up here. Okay, you can see it has like almost like a hair's ear color to it. Okay, well now we're just going to put our, bring our ribbing up. Remember, space it out nice and equal. You get about, eh, about four turns out of it, maybe five. Okay, and we're going to bring it up here and wrap it off. Put a couple wraps around it. If you got it on there secured nice and good, you can twist it, helicopter it, and it'll pop right off. Okay, the next thing we're going to put on is our wing case. For the wing case on this fly, we're going to use the turkey tail. And I'm going to use oh, about eight or so fibers. And tie it in butt end first. And make sure it stays on the top here. It doesn't roll around the side. And trim this off. Now a second ago you heard me say about all the guard hairs and how we're going to make them useful. Last time I used wax and I dubbed it on the thread really tight. This time to get the legs on this we're going to use a dubbing loop. I'm going to use my dubbing loop tool. You've seen me use this in other videos. I'm going to make a loop here and I'm going to wax, wax my thread on my dubbing loop. Put some fox squirrel 
hair in it and uh, do a little bit more here when I make this dubbing loop what's going to ha happen those guard hairs are really going to pop out and they're going to stand up and they're going to end up being like the legs on this fly and that's why I like using the fox squirrel River like doing hairs ear pattern okay we're going to twist our dubbing loop Just twist it till it gets the whole way back, and when you do that, you'll see all the guard hair fibers standing out on it. You can see them there. It makes a little dubbing brush. Okay, we're just going to dub this on. Get good coverage here. Don't make it too thick, but thick enough. And we're going to tie it off. Okay, then we're going to pull our wing case over. Keeping it centered on top and tie it down tight. We're just going to cut the wing case off and come in and throw a wet finish on there. Oops. And that is all that is to the fox squirrel nymph. Just want you to see. You see how I said about the, the fiber standing out making it really nice bushy, bushy legs on this pattern. That's why I use the dubbing loop up front. You can see the wing case there on it and how the legs stand out nice. Just a nice alternative to a hair's ear pattern. Different way to tie it. Uh, if you hope you enjoyed my video, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. And as always, check us out on wholesingersflyshop.com for all your fly tying needs. Thanks again for watching.